Okay, we're going to go ahead and let Coach start off with a uh, opening statement, and then we'll uh, open it up for questions for those uh, Illinois media here in attendance. Go ahead, Coach. Uh, well, not the night that I envisioned. You know, as we, as we came up to Camp Randall, um, thought I had the team more ready, more prepared to play than what we showed out there tonight. Um, we will play better than that. We're a better football team than that. Everything that seemed like that we had seen didn't say that, but that's what happened. You have to give Wisconsin a lot of credit. Uh, they made the plays when they needed to. Their quarterback played outstanding ball, but um, we have to get him a little bit of, you know, a lot more, you know, competition on some of, you know, on some of the, you know, the touchdown passes on the defensive side of the football and offensively, we've got to be able to run the football better than that. I'll take your question. We'll go ahead and open up for uh, Shannon Ryan first. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Lovey, aside from the game, just what, what was it like to play in an atmosphere as unusual as this one tonight? Well, it was unusual, Shannon, but after, you know, after you get down pretty quick, you forget about the fans and just you start concentrating on what's happening on the football field. I think it always comes down to that. It helps when you have a lot of fans in the stands, but eventually there's two teams on the field um, playing and uh, Again, so it didn't affect us that much, you know, um, just wish we had played better. Scott Ritchie, you're next. Uh, Jeremy Warner on, on deck. Coach, you mentioned before the game, you know, just you prepare for a system, maybe not a quarterback. Did Wisconsin do anything differently with Graham Mertz that maybe you weren't expecting? Um, no, they really didn't, um, you know. He completed the passes. You know, a lot of those routes we had one or two guys going out. We have to be able to play better coverage than that. But uh, Wisconsin stayed true to their system. They've been doing it for a lot of years. They're not going to change that. They just executed the system tonight a lot better than we did. Gavin Good, uh, or sorry, Jeremy, you're up, you're up, and then Gavin Good's on deck. Well, I know your team was confident. Uh, what didn't translate, and, and how do you get them to regroup going into next week? Well, it only counts one loss. I mean, it's kind of simple as that. And when you play as bad as we did, you, you expect to lose. So um, what we saw, we didn't see that. You know, uh, we had, you know, the 14-7 to 7 game or so, or, you know, went after Tariq's uh, interception or fumble recovery for a touchdown. He had opportunities. There was a it's kind of crunch time a little bit there, and uh, you know next week and going forward, got to be able to step up when it gets to situations like that. Uh, you know, defensively losing Jake, of course not having Milo in, out there. We weren't at our best, but um, and but hopefully this week we'll get a lot of those guys back, and uh, we can play better ball. And what was the impact of not having Isaiah Gay and Devin Witherspoon on your defense? I mean, you, you know, those are both, you know, guys that have helped us win a lot of games. They're good football players. So, it, it, yeah, we miss them. And, again, you, you hate to even talk about guys that were missing when you play that way. But it was obvious we had some guys missing. I'm sure they did, too. Uh, with the guys that we had here tonight, we just got to be able to play better than that. Thanks, so. Well, okay, Gavin, you're up. Uh, Joey Wagner on deck. Lovey, it was a tough night for Brandon Peters throwing the ball. I think he was eight of 19. Um, he did have some success running the ball, but what did you see go wrong out there for him? Well, we didn't. I mean, it just never got in the rhythm with our passing game. I mean, a running game can help that an awful lot, but I thought we had some moments where there were, you know, as we go forward, we got to be able to complete more passes than that. Simple as that. I mean, Josh Bay Bay is a heck of a receiver. We've got to be able to get the ball to our tight ends more. Brandon will be the first guy to tell you that, you know, he'd like to have some throws back. I thought he ran the ball well, but um, we're in sync tonight for whatever reason. It seemed like, you know, a few times the offensive line kind of struggled to, to give him much time back there. What would you just think of, of the way they played? Yeah, when I say we struggle, yeah, it starts up front. You know, we talk a lot about our offensive line. We're one of the best offensive line 
uh, in the conference coming back, but we didn't play that way tonight, uh, like our football team did. And uh, you know, as head football coach, we'll get these things, we'll get these things fixed. We're better than that. Uh, o line, quarterback, wideouts, running back, entire defense, coaches, we're a lot better than that. Okay, Joey Wagner, you're up. Uh, Gabby, you're on deck. Hey, Lovey, you mentioned it was 14 to seven after Tariq's touchdown, but those 322 to close the half, they scored two pretty quickly. What happened defensively from your vantage point in those two possessions? You know, they start scoring so many times, I can't remember everything that happened doing it. I just know that the touchdowns that we gave up, the touchdown passes that we gave up, uh, you know, it busted coverages. I mean, it's pretty easy to score when you have busted coverages back there. Got to have more discipline than that. And offensively, when you're doing some things like that, one side has to kind of come to the rescue a little bit to help out their teammate when, you know, when you're having trouble. But tonight seemed like, you know, all three phases were kind of in that same same position. Tariq, though, coming in for Jake, you had that, and you had a couple other big plays. What would you make of his performance there in those three quarters? Well, I think you got to, I mean, we have to acknowledge uh, Tariq coming in. That's a tough situation. You know, Jake Hansen is captain, you know, one of our best players. Uh, you know, when you're back up, you don't get as many reps, but you have to be ready mentally. And for him to come in and I think he had a sack. Of course, he had a, you know, take away with a touchdown. Uh, you, your first action, you have to acknowledge that. So I was, it was good to see him do it. And we needed him to at the time. You know, we talk a lot about taking the ball away. We need a lot more of those. Thanks, buddy. Well, okay, Gabby, and then uh, Bob Osmus, and uh, you're on deck. Scott or uh, Matt Stevens in the hole. Go ahead, Gabby. Love the Isaiah Williams. Obviously, got some good playing time tonight, and he came out pretty early. What went into that uh, decision to put him out um, pretty early tonight? to put him out earlier. Well, the plan, Isaiah has done some good things in practice. And, uh, you know, the first game, you kind of want to see what you have. Um, going in, we had a package designed just for him. Uh, so the plan was for him to play. Uh, no matter how the game was going, the plan was for him, to, you know, to get a few reps in that package. Um, he like, you know, you know, when nothing's going right, it's just kind of tough duty when you come in like that, but, um, First bit of action for him, you know, and that's the start. Yeah, and then Roderick Perry obviously got pressure on the offense pretty early. What do you see from him in his first Illinois game? I thought he did some good things. I think throughout, I thought he played solid football. Can't wait to see the video, but he had a couple, you know, big plays where everybody noticed it. But uh, he's been like that since he's gotten on campus. Uh, he's a good football player and, uh, you know, a lot more of the guys – We'll need them to step up the way Rod did. Thanks, Lovey. Well, hey, Bob Osmus, and you're up. Matt Stevens on deck. Coach, you've done this a long time. After a game like this, what have you learned is the best way to go about going forward? Oh, it's the only one thing to do, Bob, when you have a game like this. Uh, they creep up on you. And uh, you just go back to work. You know, we have an extra day. We'll need that extra day. Uh, but we're going to evaluate. You know, you have to get to the first game of the season to see exactly where you are. And uh, my experience has, has told me that normally, you know, that that's when the biggest improvement happens after that first game. Now we can really judge, you know, our guys based on game action. And um, so we'll, we'll put a better group together next week, a better game plan together next week based on this. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Matt Stevens, and then uh, Scott Ritchie. Lovey, does the breakdown in coverage and the balloon coverage tonight shock you and maybe um, upset you the most tonight? I can't imagine that was something you had seen as a bad habit throughout this month of training camp. That's a surprise, I'll say that. You know, uh, no, we haven't seen that. The situation we're in, you know, we have certain coverages that are strong on certain things. What well, we're in tonight in these situations, uh, those things can happen, should not happen. And we'll work to make sure that they don't happen again. Go ahead. Thanks, Paulie. Okay, Scott Ritchie. 
So Coach, what's the maybe level of concern for Jake Hansen? It looked uh, kind of scary as he you know, was kind of stumbling there a little bit. Yeah, you know, you can take some big hits, and at the moment there when you can, you know, it can look pretty bad. But uh, I know Jake is, you know, fine right now. He's alert. Um, um, so those things can happen in a game. We kept him out, of course, the rest of the football game. And he's not a guy that's had a whole lot of uh, uh, concussions. But um, so we'll kind of see how it goes this week. Again, uh, a, a player's health is at the forefront of everything that we do. So he won't be coming back out there, of course, until he's good to go health-wise. Just one last thing. You went for it on fourth down uh, three times and, and didn't get you know, any of them. Just what was maybe a concern, you know, seeing you know, those lack of conversions there? I was disappointing. We and uh, you know when when a team jumps out 14-0 like that, we needed to score some touchdowns and uh, thought they were manageable fourth downs. We were just off a little. That's how we were most of the other night. We were just off you know, just a little bit, just enough to, you know, to get beat. But, I mean, we want to be aggressive, of course, in situations where we thought it was favorable and uh, we'll need to convert some of those fourth downs going forward. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, we'll, we'll, have, a, uh, we'll have a couple of players.